Hi, it's Jocelyn Hartrick. I'm here to talk about what do lawyers do for the great American teach in 2020. So I'm going to give you a brief guide about what lawyers do and what I do as a lawyer. So I'm a professor. I um, teach at WMU Cooley Law School here in Florida. I was a federal judicial law clerk, so I worked for judges as a lawyer in helping them decide their cases. I also own a company called 12-2 Training, LLC, where I write children's books. And I run another company called Journey to Esquire. Um, and we run a scholarship and leadership program, podcast, and a blog. So as you can see, lawyers can do a lot of things. And getting my law degree helped prepare me to do all this different kind of work that I like to do. And so if you want to become a lawyer, this is what you got to get ready for. Three or more years of law school at a seat tuition. That means a lot of money, but it's worth it if you do it right. You wear formal work attire. You get to wear suits and ties. I'm not wearing anything formal right now just because I'm working from home right now. And so I get to dress a little more casually. But when I go to court, I got to put on a suit. Long work hours. Yep, I work a lot. Ask my son. He's like, mommy likes to work. So if you're going to be a lawyer, a lot of times you got to put in long work hours. But if you really enjoy what you're doing, it's going to feel great. And you learn to balance it all so that you have time for other things that are important in your life. And you got to do regular public speaking, just like I'm doing. I love public speaking, but not everybody does. As a lawyer, you do have to do some public speaking, especially if you go to court. But more than anything, you do a lot of writing and analysis. That's a big part of what lawyers do. Because our job is to help solve problems for our clients. And so in order to do that, we have to analyze what the problem is. We have to talk about solutions. And then we have to either write them down for them or tell them. And so those are the skills you need when you're becoming a lawyer. How do you become a lawyer? Well, you got to get your JD, which is called your Juris Doctor. You go to law school and that's the degree you get, you graduate. Then you take something called the bar exam, a big test with a lot of questions over two or three days, depending on where you're taking it. In Florida, it's a two day test and there are 300 multiple choice questions and three essays over two days. And then once you pass that test and you have your degree, you get sworn in. And so you take an oath to uphold the law and follow the constitution and do all ethical things to help your clients. And so depending on what state you're in, you're gonna take a different oath. And after you take that oath, you get to be a lawyer and you're called attorney and you get the title Esquire at the end of your name. And so that's why my program is called Journey to Esquire because I help law students complete their journey and all the way until they can practice as a lawyer. So lawyers affect our everyday lives in all kinds of ways. So if you want to buy a home, you can get a lawyer to help you with that. If you want to write a will to make sure your family is protected, you can do that as well. And they prosecute and defend criminals. So when people um, commit crime, right, they do something that's wrong and the law says they're not supposed to do it. And the police come and arrest them. And then you have a prosecutor who will bring the case on behalf of the state charging the person with the crime and you have a public defender who will defend the person being charged with the crime to make sure that their rights are protected as they go through the process. And so we counsel, we strategize, problem solve, write, advocate, negotiate. The list is endless of all the different ways lawyers affect our everyday lives. And would you go to court a lot if you became a lawyer? Well, it depends. If you're an advocate, aka a litigator or trial attorney, you tend to go to court a lot. Criminal attorneys tend to go to court a lot because they're litigators. Civil attorneys don't go to court as much, but if they do, they'll do things like <clears throat> do depositions, prepare for trial, negotiate settlements, all these other things. So sometimes you'll be, end up going to court. Some of them are advisors, right? So you might be in the office a lot. And that's also called a transactional lawyer. You spend a lot of time counseling your clients about personal matters like buying a house or running a business or selling a company. You draft documents for them like contracts um, and putting deals together and business arrangements. And there's all these big categories. And then that kind of work you'll do in the office a lot. You don't necessarily go to court. And where could you work? You could work in law firms, private businesses, government, public interest organizations, the judiciary, which is where judges work, or like me, academia, 
and be a professor, which is a teacher for grown-ups. So law firms are where most people work and they do a lot of businesses, um, you know, legal representation, they help businesses, they help individuals too. They tend to cost a lot of money to work at a law firm. Um, you might've seen commercials on TV for law firms a lot. So if you get injured and you need someone to help you get recovery, law firms tend to do that. Private business is called in-house counsel. And when you're there, you help a business make sure they're staying on top of the law for whatever business they're doing. So like for your school, your school's district has a lawyer so that if legal issues come up, they go to that lawyer and say, hey, help us with this legal issue. Something's come up at the school. And then you could be a government employee. So I worked for the government for five years when I was working for, for two judges. Um, but if you're a prosecutor, a public defender, um, military attorney, right, in the Army or Navy or Marines or something like that, then you end up working for the government. And the federal government employs a lot of people. There's lots of great benefits for working with the government. So a lot of people tend to keep those jobs for a long time. And then if you're a judge, you're someone who's a lawyer who decided to sit on the bench as a judge and sit in judgment of other people who are bringing cases before you. Two ways you can become a judge. You can be appointed by the governor or the president, or you can run for an election. So it's, all, it's election season this year with the presidential election. And so there's a lot of commercials about vote for me, vote for this guy, vote for that girl, et cetera. And judges get to be in those elections too. But a very small percentage of lawyers actually become judges. And when I was a law clerk, I worked for the judges to help them go through all the cases that they have. And you can also be in the public interest, which means you focus in on a specific cause. So some people are really about like consumer protection or employment rights or disability rights or protecting certain groups of people or the environment, things like that. And so you join an organization that does that and you help them with their legal issues, whether it's advocating or helping politicians know that the issue is important or filing cases for them, et cetera. And academia, that's where I am. Teachers of the law. Um, we teach, we counsel, and we serve as administrators for the school. So just like you have a teacher in your school, I am a teacher and I have students, but those students are grown ups and they've already finished high school, they've finished college, and now they wanna be lawyers too. So I help them learn the skills they need to become successful lawyers. There's also some other ways you can go. Like I told you, I am a lawyer, but I'm also a teacher, but I'm also a children's book author, but I also run a business and I also have a nonprofit organization. So getting a law degree can help you in all these different things. And that's called a non-traditional path. And so the model of the story is being a lawyer is a great job because it's not just a job it's like a career it's a profession it gives you all these skills so you can do all these great things and you can take all the things you really enjoy doing and turn it into a way to make money and to help people and to influence the world and make a difference so thank you so much for joining me today to talk about being a lawyer i hope you have a great day and enjoy your great american teaching see you next time